it's so beautiful it is here uh i'm just gonna show you guys uh, and i got another corvette it's my fourth corvette now i've had two c4s a c6 and now a c5 is a 2000 model as you can see so you haven't got the plates yet but yeah i think uh like like remember last time i wrecked my vet so i said you know what i can't live live life with no corvettes like my it's a call my therapy you know people do drugs people do this and that for me keeping my head leveled feet grounded i got daily drive a corvette so i said you know what let me get me a c5 now i wanted a c06 but i, I set myself a price limit i said i'm not gonna spend this amount so and i found this for pretty cheap actually i paid like 12 12 and change like 12,000 some change I, I forget the exact numbers but yeah it's at 2000 it's got a hundred fifty something a little bit over hundred fifty thousand miles which is a little on the high high end but I like I said I had set my price limit and I knew I didn't want to spend more than that I just want to have a Corvette to daily drive so this is my new daily driver uh, it's got the magnesium wheels of course being 12,000 and fucking you know having that many miles it's got a a few things here and there um cos cosmetic things all the what's called mechanical things motor transmission stuff like that all that's solid but uh, it's got little scratches things dents <clears throat> oh it's got a little crack right there on the by the shifter it's got a short throw shifter uh what else man it's pretty pretty complete in the interior there's not much to it like i said it's got magnesium wheels which is the lightest corvette wheels all the tires are the wrong size but i already bought the, some new rims for it at least some rear rims i'm gonna put this ones in the front and put the new ones in the back but all the tires are uh too wide for the rim so i already already got the gotta wait for the rims to come in so i can replace them and stuff like that i already i had it for like a week and i already lowered it and suck stock bolts all the way down it's not too low but it, it does ride like shit now but i'm not gonna lower it anymore i'm not, I'm not gonna modify this thing i said i said that to myself right away i'm not gonna modify this thing it has so it's got a little so it's all, it has all the maintenance and stuff like that done already all that stuff you can think of transmission fluids all that kind of stuff is done to it it's got a crooked exhaust but it's aftermarket a little magna full magna flow muffler and shit like that uh well look guys i'm gonna sit right here i'm gonna do this part very quick so you can hear Right there. Um, you know what? It's not. It's barely loud enough. I know C5 will stock Corvettes, so are really quiet. This thing just is. I got a little rumble to it, but it has no drone. I'll, maybe I like it to be a little louder, but sometimes I don't. Cause I don't. I daily drive it. But other than that, man, it's pretty basic. This is a magnesium wheel. Has brand new brake rotors, pads, all that kind of jazz, you know. Oh, one thing I did, I did really want in the C5, I could put a little stupid sticker at the, all the emblems are fucked up, but I don't really care that much. Put the sticker right there. So why not put stickers on your Corvette? It's what you do, is to piss people off. One thing I did want, I, I really, really wanted, because my C6 didn't have it, so, well, it was broken. Heads up display, this thing has a working heads up display, which I, th I, I like it. I th I used to really want that, and now I'm like, it's all right, you know. It's not that crazy cool and stuff, but I, I like it. What else? Oh, this screen is broken. This display. I mean, AC works, so it doesn't display anything. This uh, sound system, nowhere near as good as the C4. C4s have the best sound system on C4, C5, and C6s. But what else? That's pretty much it. 
I think the, the thing is that I really never wanted a convertible. Like I don't, I always think convertibles kill the lines of the car. And the C5 base model, the coupe, it's a beautiful car. Every angle on it, like the C4 is beautiful. So, you know, I came across this thing and now with the market, they're all over 15, 16 and up thousand dollars. And I said, 12, 12,000 right? is pretty good. I'll take a convertible, fuck it. Anyway, guys, that's it and that's that. I'm gonna go, uh, this video after this one, I'm gonna do a, a little test drive around the back roads of the house. Nothing crazy. I don't really drive like an asshole anymore because then you see, I wrecked like I wrecked the C4. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna take it for a little spin. Like I, like I said, I don't really care if it's fast or not. It's fast enough for the streets. You don't gotta go fast. I barely throw this thing like once or twice. I don't really care if it's fast or not. But yeah, I, don't, I just play a daily driver, keep it stock. Just, that's it. It's fun to daily drive a Corvette. Why not? I don't plan on modifying it. In the future, of course, I want to get this thing fully track ready, which I'm, I still got a bunch of shit on this project. But that's for another video. I gotta put a wing, I gotta all that type of stuff. But that's for a different different video. It's always a project, it's never gonna be a daily driver. This thing is and in the future I might just trade this in and get a C6 C06. But of course it's quite a bit more expensive. And I have different plans in life right now, other than fucking spending thousands of dollars like I've done before in Corvettes, like I've done with the uh, other C4 and the C6 I had. It was a waste of fucking money. But anyway. That's it, and next video, stay tuned. I'm going to go do a little rip around around the block. I just got to find a place to mount this GoPro. And it's, it's sir. Thanks for watching. Peace.